Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel if you've been here before or if you're new here then welcome. My name is Eve, I post all sorts of makeup and, video, makeup and beauty related videos so it's lovely to have you here. Today's video is once again using some of the Disney Colour and Beauty Bay collab. My video that I put up on Friday was the Alice in Wonderland palette but if you've not seen that video or not seen this, then I did get the palette trio. So this is three of the palettes for £20. I think they're £8 each. And you do get all three in here. And this kind of lovely component, like I actually really like that. And I'll just quickly show you the insides of the palettes if you haven't seen them. So this is what Dumbo looks like. This is, I think, most people's least favourite out of the three, but that's what that one looks like. This is what Alice in Wonderland looks like. I do, like I said, have a video on this one. I will link that down below. And then on to the one that we'll be using today, and it is the Jungle Book one. Um, this is what this one looks like. I also have one of the jewel stick things, the lip and cheek jewels. I will use that today. I do have a purple liner but I don't think I'm going to use that today. I might use that, I might not, but if you've not seen what these are, these are kind of like shadow stick type things. So I think, can't remember how much they are. I'll put it up on the screen. So I'm just going to go and prime my eyes with Barry M Lid Lock and We'll get started. If you do like the video while you're watching it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, I would love it if you would do so. I'm getting close to 500 subscribers and there'll be a giveaway at 500, but on the video. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to lie, I don't really know what to do with this. Like, it, It's nice you could use those, the, like the, the top row on its own, the bottom row on its own, but together I'm just not really that sure. But We'll give it a go. What I'm going to do first of all is take this brown down here and you do get a mirror in the palette so that's good. That's quite a nice colour of brown. It's quite a nice kind of khaki brown. I think I'll take it in a kind of wing shape. Just like that. I will clean up this outer edge afterwards, of course. I'm going to take this green one here and use that to start blending that out. Not too worrying about down here because obviously when I put my base on that will cover that up but that is a really really pigmented nice colour of green. It's quite a, a unique green I would say. I don't have many greens like that in my collection but it's definitely like covered that brown all the way up. And then just wipe that brush off and then take that kind of brighter green and also use that just up here just to blend those edges out even further. Right, I don't know if you can see how that's just blending. Like, I don't know, the colours just seem to be blending away. But I'm going to just keep going through those colours and kind of build that up. Okay, so that's where I'm going to leave that just now. I'm going to go and cut the crease and then decide kind of what to do in the lid. Okay, so my original plan was to take that kind of brighter green all over the lid, but I think I'm going to take this kind of colour. I don't know how this is going to go, it's probably going to be a mess, but I just think it might be quite interesting. Mm. 
Right, okay. It's different for me. <laughs> um, can't decide if I like that or not, but we'll soon see once the rest of my makeup on is once the rest of my makeup on. Now the hard part for me is I'm gonna go off track off camera and try and match this on this side, which I, oh, I don't know. But I'll also come back and I will show you the stick thing again. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit with hopefully to match your eyes, fingers crossed. Okay, so onto this kind of cream blusher thing. This is my tartar face. And if you did see my other video, you know that I had an issue because one side for lips and one side for eyes and it's printed on the lids. Yeah, so of course I took the lids off, I put them down, never realised which is which, but I will show you actually the difference. So, if you can even see it. So this side... It's got a kind of glossiness to it, so that's the lip side, and this side is more matte, so that's the cheek sides apparently. So I do think Beauty Bay, if you're watching, not that you are, then print it on like here as well so that you know what's what. But anyway, I'm going to take some of what I'm sure is the matte side for your cheeks, and I'm just going to a wee bit here just like so yeah I think I used the lip side by accident yesterday on my cheeks but never mind then I'm just going to take this brush this is what I use for my kind of Mitchell blushes and just use that to blend that in oh that's gorgeous oh that is really pretty that's just melting right into my my bronzer really, really nicely. The other side. That's a really pretty colour. It, it's a lot just now, but I'm sure once I powder, it'll kind of be not as much. But anyway, I'm going to do the rest of my weekend. I'll come back to do the under eyes. Okay, so on the lower lash line, now I do want to use like every shade in this palette. So first of all, I'm going to take this shade over here. Just now you can a small brush. And press this in. The lash line. Okay, that's nice, that colour. And then I'm going to take the colour next to it, just in the same brush, just wipe it off and smudge it out a bit with that. I'm just going to take some of that brown just to intensify this here. And then what I'm going to do actually is take this kind of pink kind of colour and just follow this up here so that it kind of connects with the bottom oh I like that I think that's really cool right I'm going to go and do like my lips do the other eye put some lashes on and then I'll come back and I'll talk about the palette okay that is the finished eyes my lashes are the ones for the pen shop the Fern McCann ones are the best lashes in the world they're in the style wild and free I love them for kind of more less dramatic lashes 
I did pop that green on in a corner to a tiny bit of colour pop flexitarian. And I've got the stuff all over the place. So What do we think of the finished look? The lipstick is this one from Shop Missy. I will be doing, uh, I've got a Shop Missy haul filmed and I'll be doing like a full face test in Shop Missy so keep an eye out for that. But what do we think of this look? I love the way it turned out. Like I'm so glad that I decided to try something different with the kind of shape and that. Like, I have done this shape before and I do actually really like it on myself. Let's talk about the palette then. Like. I think that the palette worked really well. I did use every shade. Every shade was pigmented. It was easy to blend. I have got absolutely no complaints with the formula. I do think you are maybe a bit limited on how many looks you can do with this, but I mean, I've got absolutely no complaints about the way that this looks whatsoever. So yeah, um, I liked the Alice in Wonderland one as well. I think the only one I'm not all that keen on is the Dumbo one. The lip and cheek thing worked really well as well. I used that kind of crayon thing in my, my waterline and it works fine. So yeah, like I do recommend the collection. I know a lot of people were a bit disappointed in this one, but I liked it. So yeah, <laughs> if you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you would do so. And leave me a comment down below saying your honest opinions on this collection. Bye.